Volvo Cars has a very clear aim with its new safety vision. In the long term, it's quite simply a question of building and designing cars that should not crash. In the shorter term, by 2020, the aim is that nobody will die or be injured in a Volvo. But is this really a realistic vision? If you look at uh, safety from a global perspective, there's more than 1.2 million people being killed each year in traffic. And if you take Europe as an example, it's around 40,000 people being killed, the same in the US. And if you look at these numbers, that's only the fatalities. If you look at all the injuries that also occur, that's millions. So safety is not a problem. Traffic, road traffic safety is not a problem. To me, it's epidemic. So we need to address it. And I think we need to address it with that approach, because why should it be allowed? In order to achieve a crash-free future, of course, requires that car manufacturers, authorities, infrastructure planners, and other experts around the world collaborate with each other. Volvo's researchers feel that the vision is perfectly realistic if the collective knowledge about cars and traffic accidents is utilized in the right way. All this is based on knowledge. Uh, we need to gain new knowledge. We're using the knowledge that we already built. And we have a traffic accident research team that has been working for decades, not only to understand what type of collisions are out on the field uh, and what injuries you see, but also what cause those, those collisions. And as we move towards this, the f future, we try to understand the drivers and the driver behavior even better. And not only studying collisions, but also studying normal driving to better be able to understand how we can assist drivers to avoid getting into critical situations in the first place. And the knowledge acquired by studying real traffic accidents in detail is extraordinarily important for the researchers. I use the data very much to understand what priorities there are, uh, what areas to improve with respect to safety. I also use the data to understand the mechanisms behind different types of accidents or injuries. Uh, take for instance the whiplash protection study we did 10-15 years back. We used the accident data to understand the mechanisms and understand how we can improve the cars. Tomorrow's cars will have a completely new technology that helps drivers to avoid collisions. In Volvo's new XC60 model, for example, city safety is standard. This is a unique collision avoidance technique that with a laser sensor based technology helps avoid or mitigate low speed crashes. I think city safety is, is a very good example because here we're, we're taking a step in actually having offering collision avoidance and we're making it as a standard. This new technology has already received a tremendous amount of attention all over the world. At the British Motor Insurance Repair Research Centre in Thatcham, where they carry out research and development to promote and encourage the building of safer cars, they are most impressed. Thatcham's very excited about the new Volvo City Safety System. You see, 80% of accidents occur at speeds of up to 20 miles an hour. And 90% of our injuries, the majority of which are whiplash, occur in these, these sorts of situations. City safety is designed to directly address these issues and therefore we think it has huge potential at reducing real world injuries and material damage. Volvo Cars takes a long term view of its safety operations. But even in as short a time as 10 years, it is estimated that we will have a considerably better and safer traffic environment than we have today. In 10 years, we will have much, much better knowledge in understanding the, the human behavior and how we work up here uh, when we're out in traffic and when we're out driving. And uh, we're already now starting to address uh, issues that we know is, is, is a major cause of, of, of collisions and injuries in the, in the field, like uh, unconcentrated dri drivers, distracted drivers, uh, alcohol, is an aspect that we're, we're considering with the alcohol guard system already today. So we're taking it piece by piece. And as we gain knowledge from studying real drivers in real traffic environment, we will have more innovative technologies to, to assist them to, to be safer drivers and hopefully to avoid collisions. We're at the beginnings of a collision avoidance revolution. 
Um, for a long time now, uh, vehicle safety engineers have looked at secondary safety. They've looked at the ability of the vehicle to sustain the forces of an impact and protect the driver with airbags and seatbelts. This new technology is going one stage further because this new technology is preventing the accident occurring in the first place. And prevention is better than cure. And at Volvo, they are now working resolutely to realize their vision of building cars that cannot crash. Quite simply, they refuse to accept people dying in motor accidents. Number one key, as always, is knowledge. Safety is all about knowledge. And knowledge from real traffic accidents, knowledge about people, knowledge about how we work, that's the key here, I think, in order to address uh, and find uh, new innovative technologies to address different aspects of what can occur in real traffic environment because it can be very, very, very complex.